today. I'm in a familiar location back on the Project Park Umpy Retrail. After a short break over Christmas and New Year, it'll be interesting to see where I'm at with my running. Really looking forward to an adventure today. Whilst it's part one tourism, it's also stopping off en route to a different location. So it's a case of fitting one in, we're just part one. Here we come. Travelling down from Nottingham on the 5.30 train, jumping on the Northern Line from St Pancras. I'm here at Burgess Park, a park one in London, but I'm only passing through. Everyone, to pass up an opportunity for park one tourism, I'm actually en route to Bournemouth, but stopping off in London, gives me a chance to check in with my running, to vlog my progress and to enjoy what I enjoy every Saturday morning. All that travelling, we've made it to the start area in good time. It's a cold morning, a bit slippery underfoot, but hopefully the conditions are safe. I'm not travelling alone today, I've got Ian with me. You're looking forward to Burgess Park, one Ian? Yeah, it's another park run down in London, looking forward to it. Something a bit different again. Looking forward to next week even more, but yeah, another London park run. It's a chance to sneak one in, enjoy a part one in South London, see what it's got to offer and see where we're at. Just waiting, a very, very busy start area. Lots of people, very well established part one. Number 450, it's been going for about seven years, I believe. Looks like a popular one, so really looking forward to giving it a go. We're good things about this one, so let's do this. First couple of hundred yards, really steady start. Two reasons really, the ice, but also it's extremely busy. I heard one of the regulars say behind me, it's even more busy than normal. So probably gonna be a steady one, but just getting settled in, as you might have saw, it's all there. Subway, you don't often see one of those during a part one, do you? In that last bit of footage, you might have seen one or two of the quicker guys running back in the other direction. I think it's probably one lap of this lake after all. But I'm just approaching it. It looks very cold. The rock's almost iced over. Just over halfway, that last K around the lake. It was particularly slippy, really quite tough, but thankfully no falls, no slips. Ian, how are you finding it? It's a nice little park, isn't it? Typical London place, they get everything compact all in one place. 
Oh. Yeah, like Ian says, typical of the park. Got quirks to it, like the subway, a bridge, and even a nice day of a lake. When we come off that loop, you actually turn left to the right to where you come from at the start. Slightly longer finished, but I'm the home state now. Feeling quite comfortable, but Ian informs me we're not actually doing that bad for time, all things considered. So pretty pleased so far, really enjoying Bridges Part 1. Under the bridge, we're approaching the subway. It must mean we're nearly back. Still enjoying it. Still going on nicely. Perhaps a bit clearer, although still really icy. So that's a little bit of effort to get us off home. I'll check you when we finish. Finished. Really enjoyed that. Uh, whilst the tricky conditions, felt quite comfortable. And Ian tells me, so I'm 30 minutes and 41. Uh, we started the clock just before the line with it being so busy. So around 30 minutes. Pretty pleased with that, considering I don't feel I've run as hard as I have done recently and gone much slower. So really, something to take from that enjoyable part. One, nice and flat. Just one or two little undulations mentioned the conditions a few times today but now I'm in this really long funnel which is another interesting quirk of purges but again it's just good to be a part of it thanks for running with me Ian thanks for being pacer timekeeper no problem mate quite enjoy it enjoy the route yeah it's nice it's a really nice park it's uh like I said earlier it's got everything can't it you know it, i think the busyness and the different sort of people here just make it really quite nice and quirky doesn't it yeah it's it's just got a bit of, it's just london park isn't it it's just, they get everything in a 5k in a, a small space it's brilliant it's really nice very really good work and like i say absolutely uh, so glad that we stopped off on the way to bournemouth i'll check back in shortly with my official time of course i work off that Whatever I've said about ice and taking it easy, you know, of course, we can only go off that. But just happy to be vlogging again, you know, be out of a park run on a beautiful winter's morning like it is today. Thank you. And then another part one ticked off. Another one I really, really enjoyed. And one that I think I can take so many positives from. That work I did in December and the recent health kick and training has meant that felt okay, felt good. Not quite 30 minutes. I'll check back in with my official time, but walking away can tick the Burgess part one off as a real success. Like Ian says, these London parks, they seem to fit 5k in any which way. It offered up a few quirks, something different to see. And whilst trying to concentrate and stay on my feet on the ice, it seemed to go quick as well, which is always a bonus. All changed, quite literally. On the second leg of my journey down to the south coast, feeling great having started the weekend with a park run. Still really pleased, my official time 
30 minutes on 51 wasn't looking to break 30 minutes on a regular basis and at this stage of the year I'll take that and especially considering the conditions having run a little bit more feeling a little bit fitter and made some dietary changes starting to feel a lot stronger and it's becoming just that little bit easier at that pace that said running is never easy but it's important for me to keep working hard and keep chipping away 495th position today which is possibly my highest ever but it just shows how popular Burgess Park one is 615 people taking part and again in those conditions that's credit to all involved hopefully you've enjoyed this episode if you have please give it a like do share and of course if you're new to the channel do subscribe if you want to see more of my project part one pb journey do check out the playlist on this channel where i've done plenty of part one tourism plenty at home get as much from it wherever i am but hopefully you can get something from it too check those out until next week when i'll be back in london just doing it <laughs>